Bailey Woods. I'm from Seattle, Washington, currently living in Irvine, California, and I drive a 1999 BMW M3. My very first car was a super base model 325i uh, E46, the cheapest one I could buy. But it was a good car and it taught me how to drive manual and you know, I, I had a blast with it. I got an STI after that and that was a lot of fun. That's what got me into modifying and going to the racetrack and stuff like that. Then you realize it's a Subaru and so you sell it and move on to something better. My first track day was with the, with the Subaru. That's when I did like a, a one day performance driving school. And I used to take like the drag strip and stuff like that. The whole point of buying this car was to buy a slow car that would help me develop as a driver. And so when I bought this, it was completely stock and you know, I had low miles and it was a nice car. And I took it to the track and my first track day, I was so slow and uh, you know, I had a lot to learn, but I'd, I would say that this car is the first car that's challenged me because I've had to learn to develop speed when it wasn't a very fast car. The very first thing I did when I got my car was take care of the suspension and brakes and tires because that's kind of what you need to you know, go out and actually be able to learn. And so once I did that, the next thing was I just kind of slowly started removing weight. And then the whole thing has become about chassis development. And so getting the chassis dialed in and taking out as much weight as possible is pretty much what I've been doing to make the car as fast as possible with the stock engine. Right now I run two-way non-remote motion control uh, dampeners and I paired that with AP brakes, full solid mount bushings, spherical joints, run an A7 Hoosier on a 17 inch Titan 7. Yeah, I used to see all the people that I looked up to on social media all had renowned steering wheels and so it, you know, I didn't even think twice when it was time to put a steering wheel in my car and I got the renown and absolutely loved it. And I guess the key word is style because you know, there's the, the major brands like Sparco and Momo and OMP and those are all very race focused brands, but Renown offers a, a motorsport style wheel that has a little style, a little, a little bit of a different energy, maybe a different vibe, you know, whatever the word is you want to put on it. But outside of that, I pulled out everything I could, wiring, the car stripped down to basically nothing, you know, no windshield wipers, AC. I like coming out to the track and being with like-minded people and the thing about racing cars is it just requires so much attention and focus and, and kind of discipline. And that's, that's kind of what fuels me. You like that? Cool, we'll keep that. I like the fact that when I get in the car and I'm trying to put down, you know, my fastest lap of the day or whatever I'm building up to, I like that I'm in that moment and there's nothing else I'm thinking about. You know, I'm not worrying about did I leave the stove on or, you know, what's what's the needs to be done at work. It's just that's the moment. All my effort goes into that. All my thought goes into that. And I like being immersed in that type of situation. And if you get distracted, that's when you have consequences. And I like having that behind me because it, it pulls the most out of me and extracts the most of my potential and I like that. like I am fast and I think that's why I became fast is because I never think I'm fast enough and I think there's always more on the table and I, I think that's the case with a lot of people I, I always want more and that's kind of why I love the sports because I always think there's more and so it keeps it interesting
My ideal day with my car is showing up at 6 a.m. to the racetrack and getting mentally prepared to get a personal best and you know hopefully a class record, do it in the first session and then park my car for the rest of the day and hang out with my friends. My goals um, exceed my budget. And so if I could, you know, I would for sure be racing in, you know, GT4 or IMSA or even one of the, you know, the national spec series. Um, but it just costs hundreds of thousands of dollars and I already spend all my lunch money on this thing. So, uh, you know, I guess my, my goal is to just keep getting faster as an amateur driver and uh, try and try and have fun with it, which I, you know, do every time I come out. If you're an existing Renown user and have an interesting story you'd like to share, message us and you can be featured in a Renown Profile segment. Thanks for watching Renown Profile. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button below.